Okay, so here's the question. Can you paint laminate? Of course not. You cannot paint laminate. What? Really? You can? Hey guys, this is Paul with Coastal Upcycling and welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we are going to show you the steps, tricks, and techniques to painting laminate. Now, if you like this type of information, please subscribe to our channel and share it with a friend. Click that little bell and you'll be notified the very next time we upload a video to YouTube. Okay, so what is laminate? Laminate is a man-made product that uh, layers several other man-made products together to make one durable product, uh, whether it be for building, construction, or, or even furniture. So when most people hear laminate for the first time, the, the first thing that comes to their mind is, is probably gonna be flooring. So here's an example of some laminate flooring here. Let me kind of show you a little bit of uh, what it is. So <laughs> it's a man-made product. So on the back here is MDF which is uh, basically just wood flour, ground up wood, mixed with glue, and then pressed into a board form. Okay, so then on top of it has been placed a photograph. It's a picture of wood, wood grain. So it mimics any color and shape and grain under the sun. Anything you can think of, they'll put a picture of it on there, and then they'll cover it with the laminating product, which could be um, plastic, epoxy, you know, whatever it is that they use to manufacture these things. Okay, so the issue arises when somebody wants to try to uh, refinish a piece of laminate furniture. The Usually on, uh, let's say, a chest of drawers or a dresser, the cabinet is wood, the drawers are wood, everything is wood except for the top. And, and that's the case that we have here. We've got some nightstands um, that the, uh, the whole body of the, of the piece is wood, but the top has a laminate on it. So it's got a, um, a laminate sheet over it. It's got this kind of faux white um, grained wood, something that was very popular in the 50s and 60s. Um, so like I said, the, uh, the problem comes in when you wanna try to re uh, refinish this or more specifically paint this, um, you either have to stick with what the, uh, the laminate is or try to paint it. Painting it has uh, been a problem in the past because if you've ever tried to paint this laminate, it goes on not very good. It swishes all over the place. And as soon as it dries, it'll start just kind of scratching off. It, it doesn't stick at all. So that's where the notion comes from that you cannot paint laminate. It's like painting plastic. Plastic is virtually impossible to paint unless you take some certain steps. And that's what I'm gonna show you here. We're gonna take a couple of steps here to help prep the area to uh, paint a laminate top. And I'm gonna to show you what you're gonna need. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna need is going to be a medium grit, I would say between 120 and 180 is fine, uh, sandpaper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the sandpaper to give a light scuff sanding to the top of the uh, laminate. Okay, so when it comes to the sanding part of this, we're talking about a really light scuff sanding. You shouldn't be spending a whole bunch of time doing this. For a small little nightstand top like this, we're talking about 10-15 seconds max. Now the sanding is going to give scratches and abrasions little, I mean, microscopic hills and valleys for the next step to adhere, which is going to be a bonding primer. You need to get a good bonding primer. so. I encourage you to use a very good bonding primer. I like Zinsser's BIN shellac based primer. It's a good all around uh, stain blocking, odor blocking primer and it's a, it has a wonderful bond. Okay, so those two steps working together is what's gonna give you the foundation to be able to paint your laminate piece. You're causing micro, <clears throat> you're causing micro abrasions on the uh, laminate surface and then you're covering that with a good bonding primer. So the bonding primer is going to get into all those little nooks and crannies that you created microscopically and it's going to give you a nice, flat, smooth, adherable, is that a word? Adherable foundation for your paint to stick to. Okay, so for this particular primer, um, you want to stay a good ways away from the workpiece. I would say about a little further than what I'm doing right now, about maybe... 10 to 12 inches away. Uh, the aerosol is very powerful in this particular can, so um, you can kind of build up a lot of primer real quickly. Now, we're just doing really light coats. I mean, we're not trying to paint the thing white. We're just giving it a good foundation for our paint to stick to. 
Okay, so the cool thing about the uh, shellac based primer, the bonding primer that I use, is that it dries really quickly. So within about 30 minutes, you're ready to paint. But typically, I like to let it dry and then give it a light sanding just to smooth out any areas I might have got heavy handed with the spraying. Okay, so once the piece is primed and prepped, we're ready to paint. So let's go get some color on this thing. So the question was, can you paint laminate furniture? And the answer is yes, absolutely, without a doubt, you can paint laminate furniture. You just have to take a couple of additional steps to ensure that the paint adheres properly. So, uh, like I said, it's not a bad thing to have laminated furniture. A lot of the mid-century pieces uh, come laminated. Um, it's just knowing how to uh, deal with it is uh, the secret to getting a good paint project on a laminate piece of furniture. Okay, so now it's time to seal and protect all of your hard work. And there's a couple of uh, options that you have. Uh, one is a good finishing paste wax, a furniture paste wax. Um, this you can put over chalk paints, milk paints, and it gives it a nice uh, satiny luster. Uh, or you can go the route that I'm going, and that's gonna be with a water-based polyurethane. And I'm gonna be using General Finishes High Performance Top Coat in flat. Now, when you're sealing a, uh, a piece like this, you always want to go with a water-based um, top coat because oil bases can tend to yellow over time. With General Finish's flat uh, top coat, the, uh, you'll seal and protect all of your hard work and your piece will stay the same amazing color that you chose for years to come. So how do we do? If you like this type of information, hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment in the section below. Share the video with a friend and hit that little bell and you'll be notified the very next time we upload a video to YouTube. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.